Okay, at this time, I'd like to introduce our Sintega Vista President, Mr. Lionel Bordeaux. I want to uh, welcome each and every one of you to our 20th anniversary Founders Day activities. It just seemed like the other day when we began here, but I guess when you're having fun, time goes quickly. I was raised here, lived here till I was close to 13. This tree was planted back in the late 1800s. It come from the uh, Badlands and it was real small at one time. I just imagine the things that it heard and it saw. In the winter of 1970, a college was founded on the vast 5,300 square mile Rosebud Sioux Reservation in South Central South Dakota. I am Dr. Lionel Bordeaux, the first official president of St. Degelishka University. The new college began with the mission to help Indian people achieve prosperity and tribal autonomy. There's really no truth in history books. We know the needs of the tribe. We extend ourselves to try to meet those needs. Consequently, our students who go through this educational system know very little about who they really are. If we don't have this college, you know, I believe we could have lost this whole reservation. Stanley and some of the other founders wanted to strengthen the future of the Sichahu Oyate, people of the Rosebud. Some of our young people might become lawyers, teachers, they might become professors. So they work together with spiritual leaders to put together a tribal college. The weapon today is education. And Stanley looked for a name. Sinte Gleshka, the 19th century chief who recognized the dire need for adequate training and education. We're all part of the dream that our founders had and that our ancestry had. Stanley Redbird's visit to me at the University of Minnesota brought us to this day. I still remember when I was a student working on my doctorate at the University of Minnesota. And one day I get a phone call. And there's an individual who introduced himself as Stanley Redbird Sr. He said, I know you've had training, but I'm here to tell you, we've changed your plans for you. Stanley asked me to walk away from it all and to lead St. Teglishka College. Stanley went to several medicine men and he asked them to hold ceremonies. And so he come to Minneapolis to tell me the name that these spiritual leaders come up with was Lionel Bordeaux. <laughs> On February 3rd, 1973, how many years is that now? That'd be uh, 48 years ago today, I was inaugurated. Starting tomorrow, I'll start my 48th year as president at St. University. And those medicine men talked to me about what was expected of me, what was expected of the institution. We are but one of 13 tribes throughout the United States and Alaska who does have a college on their reservation. These institutions, close to 40 now, they can work with their spiritual leaders. They can work with their elders. 
they can help redefine and restructure this educational system. It's no wonder that St. Douglas College is leading the forefront in the Indian college movement throughout the country. We were able to be the first tribal college to be accredited at the baccalaureate level and then also the first college to be accredited at the master's level. We were the first college to be approved by the U.S. Department of Education for student financial aid. So that's a big first. It isn't too often as tribal people we have the opportunity to control and design something that has so much effect, so much impact upon us as Lakota people. If you're at the table, and you're involved with what's going on, you're not on the menu. And we've been too long on that menu. We're at the crossroads of our existence as an institution. We need to keep the Wolakhota, the tribal way of life, our philosophy and our spirituality. We need to keep these within ourselves so that our young ones in the future can always say, we are Lakota. I'd like to thank the people who founded the college to give me this opportunity to get a degree. And I'd like to thank the teachers especially who encouraged me to continue. I felt like giving up at times, but they were there at my side. And I really appreciate that. I remember one time I asked Stanley, I said, why was I selected? He said, well, that's something you'll have to ask the spirit world. I was 32 years old when I come here. Next Sunday, I'll be 80 years old. I'm very thankful that I've been afforded the opportunity to play the part that I've been asked to play in the last 48 years here. But at some point, I'll, uh, I'll join Ancestry and I'll be there with my family and my friends. You wish you could reach out and hug somebody, be hugged but you rely on the memory and the feeling of what was. And inside of you, it still is. We will always be a tribal people with our identity and Wolakota, our way of life. Somewhere within that, my life is surrounded, immersed in the totality of who we are.